Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm gonna to be testing out the L'Oreal Infallible line. This is their new Infallible line. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, which claims to last up to 24 hours. And then I also have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Full Coverage Concealer that also claims to last for a total of 24 hours. So I'm not gonna be wearing these guys for 24 hours. It is Sunday, I don't have 24 hours to wear them. But the goal today, and the goal here on this wear test, is to wear this for at least 10 hours. So we will get a legitimate full day wear test. Obviously I'm wearing it right now to do this intro and I've been wearing it for the last hour and currently I'm loving it. But as you guys know, I'm a little crazy, especially in my wear tests and my review videos to be totally honest. So this is a roller coaster of emotions even thus far. We're only an hour in and I loved it, then I hated it, now I love it. So we will see where we end up, whether we love it or hate it by the end of this wear test. But as always, it's pretty entertaining. So if you are a finder and you've been here a few times, you kind of have a sense of what you're getting yourself into every time you click play on one of my videos. Highly dysfunctional, but I feel like we always have a good time. At least I always have a good time and I really hope that you guys feel the same way. But if you are new here, hi, welcome. I would love to have you, so please feel free to click the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and Concealer wear test video. As I typically do here on my channel, whenever I do a foundation wear test, I like to try two different foundation application techniques. So on one side of my face, we're going to be using a sponge and the other side, we're going to be using a brush to see which application gives the best flawless, maybe full coverage finish. So we will get into that in just a second. I did want to prep my face with you guys. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Primera, but it is a Korean all natural skincare brand. So you're kind of going to get like a first impressions with this in this video. Primera Alpine Berry Cream, Hydrate and Glow, a delicately dewy cream that sinks in instantly while providing lasting hydration and nourishment. It smells really nice. It's kind of like faint. The smell of it reminds me of my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. So if you like a nice, light, refreshing Pond's scent, you would definitely like the scent of this. Last night, Mike and I went to a wedding. We went to my girlfriend Meg's wedding. I've been friends with her since like high school. Oh my God, she looked so beautiful. Her dress was amazing. She literally looked like a real life princess. I'm not kidding. She looked absolutely stunning. As always, Mike and I were like running all over God's creation yesterday. We were down the shore. I spent some time on the beach with my dad and then just like one thing led to another. And before I knew it, we were making a mad dash to Meg's wedding. So I didn't have time to film prior to her wedding or even film during the wedding, but I did get some really cute pics of Mike and I together and then just like some cute pics of Mike because he was so adorable in his tux yesterday. Oh my God, I'd die. I can't wait until we get married just so like he can wear a tux and I can just drool like over him the entire night. I just can't wait. I'll insert some pictures for you guys in case you know, you were just curious to see what we look like when we get all put together. As I said, he's super adorable. I could literally eat him. And then I'll throw in a picture of myself as well, just because why not? I need a break from drinking because I've been drinking for the last like three days. I just had like a work event and then I had Mike's birthday, then we had a wedding. So I'm like, I really need to detox. But in terms of this cream, it feels really nice. I feel like I apply a decent amount and my skin is really absorbing it. Like I said, again, the smell is really, really nice and it feels really light on my skin. So I feel like this is a really good cream for under makeup because I feel like it's not going to be too heavy. Clean Berry Lip Mask, Smooth and Shield. A plant-based leave-on lip mask that cushions, soothes, and protects with a natural mix of conditioning butters and extracts. I went out in the sun the other day and forgot to wear SPF on my lips, so they're a little mad. But this kind of just looks like a bomb, and it smells really faint, and it kind of has like a Vaseline texture to it, but it does feel really nice. And I love that it's all natural because I find that if you use that chapstick crap that has fake stuff in it, like petroleum, it just makes your lips more dry and chapped. I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to put lipstick over it nicely though, because it does have that like Vaseline finish. But while we're here, this is not a new product. You guys have heard me rave about this belief eye balm cream, but you guys know I can't live without an eye cream at any time of the day, in the morning, before I do my makeup, at night, I always use an eye cream. I have very textured under eyes, and if you are someone that has textured under eyes as well, using an eye cream will really help make your makeup go on a little bit smoother. You ever just like look at someone's makeup and their under eyes are just like so flawless, they're so smooth, it's like, you know, they have no texture, that's what I aspire. 
to have, but I really do believe that this belief eye balm cream helps me get there. I'm pretty, you know, like the best of my ability. And we are using a new concealer today, so I definitely want to make sure that my eyes are hydrated. This way, if any texture does arise, you know, I will know that it is mainly from the concealer because I use this on a daily basis and this really helps to give that clean, smooth slate underneath my eyes. So if anything happens, we know it's uh, this guy's fault. I did receive the Primera products via Primera and Influencer, but it is not, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid to like talk about those products. I simply received them today. I was so excited to try them. So that's what we did. So now we're going to move on to the L'Oreal products, which I did buy. So again, not a sponsored video. Obviously we're using the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. That was a lot of words. 440 Natural Rose. It has an SPF of 25, which I love. You guys know I'm a skincare freak, especially after my Kate Somerville setting spray with SPF 50. I pretty much confessed my love of sunscreen. Or like, is it love or is it like OCD about sunscreen? I'm not sure, but either way. This has the expiration date on it, so it doesn't just have that little like that container that says like six months or like 12 months. This gives the actual expiration, and the expiration of this is 12:20. So I have over a year to use this, so that is nice. It takes all the guessing out of it, like you know, like 12 months until when I open it, when did I open it? So it just I like that it has the expiration on it. That's a really nice touch. It has a really nice pump. Love a pump. I'm gonna do one pump, and that is a very large pump, and this is a really runny foundation. Do you see it running down my hand so quickly? Our most lightweight, breathable, long wear foundation. Up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation provides medium to full buildable coverage. I love a good medium to full coverage. The formula's three oil absorbers resist sweat, water, and transfer. The ultra thin liquid goes on smoothly to give a fresh, healthy looking complexion that lasts. Color stays true and blends in evenly so your makeup looks fresh all day. This foundation is suitable for all skin types in 30 shades for every skin tone. I'm going to take some on my beauty sponge and I'm just going to pat this into the skin on this side of my face. And it doesn't smell like anything. Okay, so this is blending pretty quickly. And it's a good shade for my face. Okay, so not bad, but as of right now, I mean, it did say buildable, so I will give it that, but this is definitely light to medium coverage. And I did use that full pump, so it didn't really go very far in the sponge. But that's kind of typical of a sponge because sponges do absorb product faster than a brush, and they absorb a little bit more. So I'm gonna do another full pump. I'm gonna use this brush. This is the It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection. I'm gonna use the foundation side because it does have a concealer side on the other side. And I'm just gonna like stipple this into the skin. I think the brush side definitely looks a little bit more textured. I'm gonna bring you guys in to see if you can see it a little bit better. That's not in, that is out. The brush side is a little bit more textured looking and you, it's kind of streaky, like you can kind of see the brush strokes that went on on my face. Whereas the sponge side, I feel like looks a lot more natural in my opinion. No, you can still definitely see the brush strokes. Like, can you see them down here? Use half a pump and I'm gonna go all over my face using this sponge because I want my face to look even. I am going out. Why look crazy if we can look a little bit more normal than usual? I'm gonna be honest, I don't love the finish on it right now. It kind of looks a little textured and it is kind of grabbing onto the dry patches. If you could see on my nose, I have a lot of dry patches. It's kind of clinging to them. I definitely feel like it has more of a matte finish than a dewy finish for sure. It doesn't feel uncomfortable on the skin. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, which is waterproof and claims to be full coverage. So we're gonna go ahead and test this bad boy out. I got a lighter shade. This is in Vanilla 355, and I'm just gonna apply this where I would typically apply this, underneath the eyes, a little bit down my nose. Cupid's bow, my chin, and wherever I get a little red, which is typically like around my nose. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna stamp this into my skin. It kind of does dry down a little fast. Um, and it definitely, the coverage is definitely there. I think I just need a little bit more moisture underneath my eyes with the sponge. So I'm just gonna use my Morphe setting spray. I'm gonna mist my sponge. Oh yeah, this is definitely full coverage. 
Now I'm just gonna spray one more time and go over my entire face just because I feel like I'm looking a little textured. It really does remind me of the Wet n Wild foundation that smells like paint. Do I have it in front of me? Yes, I actually do. Photo Focus Foundation minus the heavy, disgusting paint scent because the this one does not smell like paint. This one straight up smells like paint thinner and this one kind of irritates my skin and I do believe it's because of the scent, but I feel like the finish is really similar. This one may be just a little bit more matte and this kind of looks like a powdery matte. Like honestly, I know I just said that I looked kind of textured, but I feel like as I'm sitting here, it's kind of like soaking into the skin a little bit more and I feel like it's giving more of a satin finish. So I definitely feel like as the day goes on and I wear this, my natural oils are gonna poke through and it will change the finish of it. I feel like my thoughts have changed drastically since first application. I feel like it definitely looks nice. I feel like once it's set with powder and then set with setting spray, it's, it's gonna give like a nice natural, like, but full coverage finish if that makes any sense but it looks really nice I definitely think this is medium to full coverage I think if I were to go in with another layer it would be like full full coverage four pumps would definitely do it for you the foundation doesn't go as far as I thought it would that full pump only covered half of my face regardless if I was using a brush or a sponge so these are just my initial thoughts so give me one second I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I'll meet you guys right back here right, guys so I went for a really simple makeup look I want our foundation to be what really sticks out I want to focus on my foundation the most today so I just threw some bronzer in the crease just to give a little bit of depth put some mascara on obviously did my brows and then you know I needed something to be a little bit dramatic so I had to go with a red lip because I figured what goes better with leopard than a bold red lip in my opinion nothing my makeup applied beautifully over this foundation I feel like my skin just looks so flawless this concealer is doing a really nice job. It is pretty full coverage. It doesn't feel like tight around my eyes, which sometimes when I'm testing out new concealers, that does tend to happen because I do have dry skin underneath my eyes. The only thing about this concealer, honestly, is that it already like creased a little bit. I don't know if you guys can like see. You can see like it's settled into the creases under my eyes and I did set my eyes and my entire face using powder so it did shift a little bit I mean honestly in all reality if you have creases underneath your eyes you're gonna have creases after you apply concealer and even powder so I'm not too mad at it my other concealers that I've been using haven't really creased this quickly Koki cosmetics their illuminating concealer I've been a really big fan of that lately and that doesn't necessarily crease this quickly on me but again we're gonna see how this works for the remainder of the day I don't want to judge it too hard but I am absolutely loving the foundation right now especially for the price point this is what it looks like an hour into the wear test I'm gonna check in with you guys throughout the day but I'm super happy with what it looks like right now so I'm gonna go I'm gonna drive to my parents I'll check in with you guys in a little bit and we'll see where we're at all right guys so we are now six hours in I have some natural lighting I'm outside in my car I just got back from my parents house I had a nice delicious greasy Italian dinner and I gotta say I feel like I look a little shiny but my foundation looks really good like all in here looks great the only thing is is this concealer creased and it's like really crusty can you see like how crusty this is and I use the same powder I use all the time I definitely stamped out the creases before I set them and it's kind of just crusty so all in all I'm really enjoying the foundation curious to see how it lasts after the 10 hour mark but this concealer I'm not loving another note I have been wearing this lipstick the entire time and I did not reapply it once and I gotta say it looks pretty good the only thing is is like this is a matte liquid lipstick but it doesn't really set down like super matte so it kind of moves around a lot it kind of like migrated in areas around my mouth but yeah otherwise I mean it lasts a long time I didn't touch it up once and I ate dinner and I drank and I did a lot so I'm a really big fan of the lipstick not that we're doing a wear test on the lipstick but this did come in my ipsy glam bag plus and I did say that I didn't recommend it I mean honestly I still like wouldn't recommend it for $50 for a set of three but this red is really nice and it makes my teeth look really white so love this lipstick love this foundation could live without this concealer let's let me see if I could just get this to zoom see how like creasy and like textured this is 
migrated into my creases, which is not a cute look. So whatever, the foundation's good, you know? One out of two ain't bad. Guys, so it's been 10 hours and I have not touched up my face once. I did not apply any setting spray or powders. And I gotta say, for 10 hours of wear, I'm pretty impressed. No touch-ups? Hmm. I feel like my cheeks look really good. It did do a good job of like covering my pores. My pores don't look as big as they typically do, I think. I did not use a pore filling primer. I just feel like the foundation... I was pressed into my pores with that beauty blender and didn't move so I think it did a nice job of minimizing my pores. It looks really good anywhere where my skin behaves. So for me, my skin on my cheeks is usually nice. It's not dry. It's not too oily. My nose looks decent. I mean, it looks a hell of a lot better than when I first applied the foundation and told you guys how patchy it was looking. And my chin area kind of faded you can see my like acne scars that I have here it is kind of patchy then around my mouth it's kind of like bunching up a little bit you can see the foundation has kind of moved giving you guys like up close and personal but you can see the concealer is definitely creased overall I feel like my foundation looks pretty good the concealer is definitely bothering me um, it has moved quite a bit and I did set it forehead looks pretty good my lines like aren't really exaggerated. It's just really this concealer that did me dirty, as you guys can see. So I think you guys know how I feel about this concealer. I'm definitely gonna continue to use it because I did buy it. And I don't think it's awful. The coverage is definitely there. It covered up the darkness pretty well. My dark circles, especially in here, I do get very, very dark on those inner corners and you can't see the darkness. I like this. I think it does a really nice job. I think if you have combo skin, you will really like this. I think if you have oily skin, you'll like this. I think if you lean on the drier side, you might just wanna use a hydrating primer. So maybe the next time when I go in with this, I will exfoliate my face, put on moisturizer, and then use a hydrating primer before applying this, just to smooth out those areas. I feel like if I had a little less texture, it would look better in those problematic areas. Like I said before, one is better than none. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know. Do you own either one of these products? What do you guys think? What did you guys think about this wear test? Do you agree with my findings? If you do, please let me know. If you don't, please tell me why. I'm always like curious to hear what you guys have to say. And honestly, even if you guys don't agree with me, I don't care. Let me know. I want to hear your opinions. This is a makeup beauty channel. I want to converse about beauty and skincare and makeup and all of those fun things in between. So definitely be sure to leave me a note down below, whatever it is your thoughts are. And also, if you guys ever want to see a specific video, maybe there's a new makeup technique that came out that you're not so sure how to do, or maybe there's a new product that came out and you're not so sure if you want to buy it or not, be sure to leave that kind of stuff down below. I would love to create a video that you know you would like to see. I'm always happy to help. Requested videos always are the most fun because I feel like I know that at least one person is gonna benefit from that video. So always be sure to let me know. You can let me know on any of my social media handles or just leave me a comment here. That might probably be the easiest because you are here already. But if you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you. And also click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a video here on my channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, finders. Mwah.